journey with us to Mozambique, a country with one of Africa's longest coastlines, rich in culture and natural beauty. Today on Opentiera, we're diving into the heart of southeastern Africa to discover Mozambique's stunning landscapes, from the Indian Ocean's shores to the wilds of Gorongosa and Nyasa. Unravel the threads of Mozambique's history, cultural heritage and amazing food. Mozambique is a country located in Southeast Africa, bordered by the Indian Ocean to the east, Tanzania to the north, Malawi and Zambia to the northwest, Zimbabwe to the west, and Swaziland and South Africa to the southwest. It has diverse geography including a long coastline, low-lying plains, highlands and numerous rivers. Mozambique has a long coastline stretching about 1,535 miles along the Indian Ocean. The capital city Maputo and major port cities like Beira, Nakala and Pemba are located along the coast. Mangrove swamps and coral reefs are found along parts of the coastline. It has several offshore islands as well, including Mozambique Island, known for its historic Portuguese architecture. The coastline provides a source of seafood for the country. Inland from the coast, Mozambique has large areas of low-lying plains. The plains have fertile soil good for agriculture, but are prone to flooding during the rainy season. Major crops grown in the plains include cotton, sugarcane, cashews and rice. The Gorongosa National Park with its diverse wildlife habitat is also located in the Central Plains region. In central and northern Mozambique, there are mountainous highland areas, including the Gorongosa and Namuli Mountains. The highest peak is Mount Binga, which reaches 7,992 feet in altitude. The plateaus and highlands have cooler temperatures than the low-lying areas and receive more rainfall. Pine and fir forests grow in the highland areas. Several important rivers flow through Mozambique, providing hydroelectric power potential, irrigation for agriculture and transportation routes. The Zambezi is the longest river located in the center of the country. The Limpopo River forms part of the border with South Africa. Mozambique is home to a diverse population of over 32 million people, according to World Bank data. The largest ethnic group in the country is the Makwa people who make up around 27% of the population. Other major groups include the Tsonga, Makonde, Shangan, Sena, Shona and Swahili people. There are also small numbers of European, Indian and Chinese people within the Mozambican population. Despite the diversity, the various ethnic groups have largely coexisted peacefully within a shared national identity. Many Mozambicans follow traditional African religions with beliefs in ancestral spirits and natural forces. Islam has a strong influence, particularly in the northern coastal regions, and Christianity has grown significantly, making up about 30% of the population today. Protestant denominations such as Methodists and Anglicans are common along with Roman Catholicism. Overall, there is freedom of religion with tolerance among the various faiths. Portuguese is the official language of Mozambique, spoken by about half the population. It serves as the language of government, education and formal business. However, the country is also home to over 40 indigenous languages. Among these, Emahua is the most widely spoken native language with about 25% of Mozambicans using it. Other major local languages include Sichangana, Chisena, Elomwe, Tinyanja, and Swahili. Mozambican cuisine is a mixture of African, Portuguese, and Arab flavors. Here are iconic Mozambican dishes that every visitor should try. Zima is the national staple of Mozambique made from corn or cassava flour cooked into a thick porridge. Locals eat shima with their hands, using it to scoop up rich stews and curries. 
The texture of Jima ranges from firm and rubbery to soft and fluffy depending on the cook. No trip to Mozambique is complete without peri-peri chicken or galinha a zambeziana. A Portuguese-inspired dish, chicken is marinated in a sauce of hot chili peppers, garlic, lemon and spices, then grilled to perfection. Feijoada is Mozambique's take on the classic Portuguese pork and bean stew. Kidney beans and pieces of pork are slowly simmered with onions, tomatoes and cabbage for a hearty, comforting meal. Muchapata is a seafood curry commonly found along the Mozambican coastline. A medley of shrimp, crab, fish and sometimes lobster is cooked in an aromatic coconut curry sauce flavoured with cilantro, chilli and lime. Bantu tribes established organized kingdoms and trade networks in Mozambique as early as the 4th century AD. These included the Munhumutapa and Maravi kingdoms, which controlled gold trade routes. The Swahili coastal city-states also traded with Persia and India. Arab merchants helped spread Islam through parts of Mozambique during this era. Portuguese sailors who first reached Mozambique in the late 15th century were drawn by its trade potential. The Portuguese slowly consolidated control over the next 300 years to exploit ivory, gold and slaves. It served as a key point in the Portuguese Empire and its trading routes to India. Local tribes resisted the colonization, leading to constant military conflict. In the 1950s, Marxist nationalist movements began guerrilla campaigns seeking independence from Portugal. This included Frelimo, Frente de Libertação de Moçambique, led by Eduardo Mondlane and Samora Machel. After the Portuguese dictatorship fell in 1974, Mozambique gained independence in June 1975 with Frelimo as the ruling party. Shortly after independence, Mozambique plunged into civil war between Frelimo and the anti-communist group RENAMO, Resistencia Nacional Mozambicana. RENAMO was supported by white settler states like Rhodesia and South Africa to undermine the Frelimo government. The war destroyed infrastructure and resulted in an estimated one million deaths before ending in 1992. Frelimo has remained the ruling party since independence, transitioning to a multi-party system in the 1990s. Renamo became an opposition group that continues to challenge Frelimo in elections. Mozambique is one of the poorest countries in the world, but has immense economic potential. Agriculture has traditionally been the mainstay, while industry and services are now growing rapidly. Mozambique's economy has developed significantly since the end of its civil war in 1992. As of 2022, its GDP stands at $18 billion, six times more than its GDP at the end of the civil war. Around three-fourths of Mozambicans are small farmers engaged in subsistence agriculture. With its fertile lands and rivers, Mozambique has untapped capacity for large-scale commercial agriculture. However, farmers face challenges in transport technology and accessing markets. Agriculture accounts for around 25% of the country's GDP. Mozambique's industry has grown in recent years, led by major aluminum and energy projects. The Mozal aluminum smelter, Kahora Basa hydroelectric dam, and gas production in the north are major drivers. Food processing, cement, textiles and tourism also contribute, but the manufacturing is not well developed. Industry makes up around 27% of the GDP. The services sector is expanding and accounts for almost half of the GDP. Telecoms, banking and retail have been the fastest growing areas as incomes and consumption increase. Tourism centered on Mozambique's beaches is another key service industry, but regulation and infrastructure gaps have inhibited more broad-based service sector development. 
Mozambique is renowned for its traditional arts and crafts that provide insight into the country's culture and heritage. From intricate wood carvings to colorful fabrics, Mozambican artisans have maintained and adapted their skills over centuries. Let's explore some of the unique arts and crafts of Mozambique. The Makonde people are famous for their wood carvings done primarily in ebony and other hardwoods. Common subjects include highly stylized human figures, animals and mythological creatures. The carvings often portray elongated bodies with curved shapes and intricate patterns. This style developed in the early 20th century and became popular worldwide. Fabric printing and embroidery using traditional patterns are common across Mozambique. The capulana, a multicolored printed textile, is worn by Mozambican women as a wraparound skirt and used for carrying babies. In recent decades, contemporary artists in Mozambique have gained international recognition by blending traditional subjects and styles with new mediums and conceptual approaches. The Mozambican school of painting emerged in the 1950s with artists like Malangatana Nguenya, who painted African tribal life in a cubist style. Other influential contemporary painters include Bertina Lopez, and Roberto Cicciolo. Photographers like Ricardo Rangel and Mauro Pinto have documented daily life across Mozambique, capturing its cultural essence. Contemporary fashion designers, musicians, filmmakers and writers are all contributing to an evolving creative scene. If you enjoyed this video on Mozambique, you'll love this next one.